What is the difference between staging and grading in breast cancer? So grading and staging are two terms which uh, patients often hear when they come to see us in the clinic. Um, grade refers to how aggressive cells looked under the microscope to a pathologist. Um, they are reflective of how uh, fast uh, cancer cells may be growing and how fast a cancer actually may be growing. Stage is a different concept. Stage is based on three uh, factors. Uh, we use a system called the TN. M staging system. It's a commonly used staging system. Stage is determined by those three factors. T refers to the size of the tumor. So low, low T stage tumors are small. Um, the T staging goes from zero to four. Uh, the smallest tumors are T stage zero. The largest tumors are T stage four. Uh, N refers to the status of the lymph nodes. Um, when lymph nodes are not involved, that's a good sign and those patients are categorized as N0. Uh, when lymph nodes are involved, patients are uh, categorized with N1 or N2 uh, disease, uh, reflecting more advanced nodal disease or involvement of the nodes. M refers to the presence or absence of metastatic disease. What that means is, has the cancer spread beyond the breast or the lymph nodes uh, to other sites of the body? So we use the combination of the T, N, and M scores to assign an overall stage. Stage is really uh, one of the most important concepts when we decide two things. Prognosis, so patients want to know uh, how likely is the cancer to recur. And so patients with low stage disease, we can comfortably tell them, have a lower risk of recurrence. Patients with a high stage disease have a greater risk of recurrence. Um, the other factor we use staging for is to drive treatment decisions. And so a lot of the uh, algorithms and protocols that we've developed for treating patients are really driven by the stage. So staging is something we take seriously and we um, try to do so we can uh, provide the best treatments for patients uh, and avoid over-treatment. 